Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the 2023 Kia Telluride EX X-Line. So this is more like a mid trim. And honestly, this thing looks amazing. And it is finished in ebony black and it does have the sage green interior. So let me go ahead and show you all the features this Kia Telluride has. Under the hood, there is a 3.8 naturally aspirated V6. It is connected to an eight speed automatic transmission. This engine produces 291 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque. And the fuel economy numbers on this engine, 18 in the city, 24 highway and 21 combined. Here is a MSRP sticker of this 2023 Kia Telluride EX X-Line. If you guys are interested in the standard features it has, just go ahead and pause the video. And it does have the ebony black paint, $500 option, sage green interior, $300 option, and the price with destination is $48,000 with destination. If you guys are curious about the color, the color is called ebony black, and it is a $500 option on this EX X-Line Telluride, and I think this black color just looks amazing. Anyways, guys, the EX X-Line is the cheapest way to get a Telluride blacked out so if you guys need blacked out trims all the way around then you have to go with this trim uh, this trim does uh, make the wheels uh, gloss black and honestly I think it looks amazing with this ebony black it does have the sage interior which looks amazing I'll show you that when I uh, move inside but the Telluride is actually my favorite looking SUV uh, three-year-old SUV I prefer it over the Honda Pilot, the Pathfinder, uh, the GM and Chevy um, three-row SUVs, uh, which is the Acadia and uh, the Traverse, and I prefer it over the Toyota Highlander. But I do really like the Palisade. I think the Palisade looks amazing, especially with the new facelift. But uh, the Kia just has that nice sporty look. Anyways, guys, front end looks amazing. There is eight trims you could choose on the Telluride. There is the LX, S, EX, EX line, which is uh, this one. And then uh, there is the SX, SX, X line. Then uh, it does get confusing after that, but there's eight trims. Uh, there's the SX um, Pro, Prestige. So there's a lot of trims you could choose from, and there is a ton of interior and exterior colors you could choose on this Telluride. The grill just looks amazing. Nokia logo has a really nice look to it. It is nice and big. The grill is finished in gloss black. And I really like this brushed aluminum uh, here in the front. There is a bottom grill. This right here in the center is the sensor for the emergency braking. I really like this brushed aluminum trim right there. For the headlights, they have an amazing look. Everything right here in the front is LED and the headlight housing just looks amazing nice and small it does look very good but yeah overall the front end of this telluride is beautiful i love the way how the hood looks like and this thing just looks amazing from every single angle as i said guys this is my favorite looking three row suv and uh let's go ahead and move to the side and i'll show you the side view of this telluride here is a side view of this telluride and this suv is beautiful I think Kia did a great job with the design. This black paint is gorgeous. And right here on the side, everything's blacked out. All the window trims are finished in black or blacked out chrome. And uh, on the mirror, there's a blind spot monitoring system, a turn signal indicator. In the bottom, there is a good amount of plastic, a little bit of brushed aluminum, which is a nice touch. This Telluride has eight inches of ground clearance. For the rims, I think they look good. They are finished in gloss black and the size is 245, 50, 20. Uh, there is a decent amount of rubber on those rims. And I think the rims could, could have a little bit of a better design, but they're actually um, not bad. Um, they do fit this SUV pretty good. Uh, by the way, this SUV has self-leveling. This is with the EX X-Line package. Uh, so when you basically tow something, um, the suspension won't be squatting that much. And on the roof, there is a standard size sunroof and roof rails. I really wish that Kia gave us a panoramic sunroof for 48,000. But let's go ahead and move to the back and I'll show you the back view of this Telluride. Here is the back of this Kia Telluride and the back looks gorgeous. I love what Kia did. Now honestly, this thing looks very premium. It feels like 
a $70,000, $80,000 SUV from the back. Very luxurious, very premium. I love the way how the taillights look like. The turn signal indicators and the running light is in one place. Reverse is in the bottom. Next to the reflectors, there is rear parking sensors. I love this brushed aluminum piece. And in the bottom, there is this plastic trim. And Kia logo is nice and big. Telluride is spelled out back here. Nice spaced out. And X-Line badge is all the way to the right. Here is the wiper, third brake light. And shark fin antenna is all the way up there. The spoiler has a really nice design to it. Very simple, but definitely gives uh, the back a nice look. And by the way, guys, the back of this SUV just looks clean and just premium. I really, really like what Kia did with the back of this Telluride. Not too many things, not too many badges. Um, so definitely uh, good design. Right here on the right, there is the exhaust tips. Exhaust tips are finished in chrome. They are attached to the exhaust pipe, so there's no fake exhaust tips or exhaust pipes. So none of that. But seriously, such a beautiful design, and I think Kia did a great job. Here's a key of this Kia Telluride. It is a big key, and honestly, for the size of it, you would think that it, it should feel a little bit heavier, but it is a little bit on the lighter side. Anyways, right here on the side, there is the lock button, unlock, tailgate release, and a panic button. Let's go ahead and open the tailgate. Does open a little bit on the slower side and by the way on the other side of the key there is the remote start key is finished in gray right here there is a handle two binds the one on the left is to drop the lift gate down and the other one i think it has to do something with the automatic uh, lift gate so uh, probably when you go far away from the suv uh, the tailgate um, closes by itself inside there is a very good amount of space with the third row up there's actually a decent amount of space of course with the third row down there is a ton of space let me go ahead and drop this seat down as you guys see there is a lot of space the opening is nice and big and loading things in and out is very easy so the loading floor is a little bit higher than waist level there's a little bit of storage place right here. Two cup holders, one USB Type-C on the left. Same thing on the other side. There's some tie downs right there. And uh, you could uh, drop the second row down by using those two buttons. There's a 12 volt a hook. Um, the jack uh, is located right here. Let me go ahead and show you what's underneath. There is actually a decent amount of space down here. It's nice and deep more tie downs right here but well, let's go ahead and drop the second row down there is a lot of space with the second row down and I think on the higher trims uh, the third row is actually um, automatic so there will be additional buttons for the third row by the way there is another storage place right here which is nice but yeah definitely a lot of space in the back of this uh, Kia Telluride. Here is the front door panel. The front door panel has a really nice design to it. Again, guys, the interior is finished in sage green. So this portion right here is finished in that sage green. The armrest is soft, but I thought it would be a little bit softer uh, for this three row SUV. This right here is soft. I love this brushed aluminum. Door handle feels nice, solid, and light. Here is a tweeter. I love this wood trim. This right here is nice and soft. And uh, I really love the design of the speaker. This right here is plastic, which is completely fine. There is a reflector. Decent amount of storage place in the bottom of this door. It does say Telluride right here. Very nice touch. And window switch has mirror controls. Everything looks good. Everything has a nice premium feel to it. All windows are automatic up and down and uh, does have auto folding mirrors. Kia and other brands are definitely doing much better when it comes to soft materials and fit and finish. Beautiful seats, nice and comfortable. I love the design. 
does say X line on the seat, which is a nice touch. But yeah, this sage green just looks amazing. Power seats, of course, and lumbar support. Let's go ahead and move inside this SUV and I'll show you how it looks like from the inside. All right, so here is the interior of this 2023 Kia Telluride. It does look very nice from the inside. Seats are very comfortable. Passenger is sitting far away from me and seating position is perfect. A lot of windows, so seeing out of this SUV is perfect. The back window is nice and big. Mirrors are massive. They do have a blind spot monitoring system on them. For the steering wheel, it is wrapped in leather, which is expected for the price point. Uh, has a good thickness to it, a little bit on the thinner side right here, which is completely fine, I think. And uh, overall, I think design looks good. There's gloss black, brushed aluminum, definitely good looking steering wheel. Voice command right here on the left with the uh, volume controls. If you push this button right here, uh, this will mute the music or radio, phone, favorite, and mode right here on the right. Uh, that's where all the safety features are. So you'll have the adaptive cruise control. Here is the gap. So you could set the distance between you and the car in front of you. Right here is the steering assist. This button right here will change uh, this uh, 4.2 inch uh, screen. You could go through a few menus. Some menus you could actually go up and down. Um, there is a 12.3 inch screen. It looks beautiful, nice and responsive. I really like this wood uh, trim. I think it looks very, very nice. This right here is soft. This right here is extremely soft. So Kia did a great job with this Telluride. Behind the steering wheel, there is the headlight controls with the turn signal controls. And on the right is the wiper controls for the front and back. And down here, there is the engine start stop. And for the vent, it looks very good. I like the design. There's more of that wood right here underneath the screen and next to the vent. I love this brushed aluminum. Vent feels nice and solid. That's how you block the air. And down here, there is a good amount of binds, traction control, trunk release, hill descent, uh, the tow uh, button, a uh, tow mode, and then you have the brightness control. It does have self-leveling with this EX X line. Beautiful 12.3 inch screen, as I told you guys. It does have Apple Car CarPlay and Android Auto. Let me go ahead and show you the backup camera. Backup camera quality is good, but for an SUV that cost 48,000, I really wish it had uh, the 3D view and I really wish it had like 360, but resolution is not too bad. Uh, it does have built-in navigation and you could actually make it bigger by clicking this um, arrow. But yeah, the system overall, nice, responsive. Uh, you could uh, open uh, the um, rear climate a menu from here or you could do it from this button right here definitely nice system again guys i really like this wood trim i think it looks very good this whole thing right here is nice and soft i love the brushed aluminum right here there's shortcuts so let's say if you want to go to map click on it this will take you straight to map there is other uh, shortcuts down here there's a volume knob tune knob here is the engine start stop it does have heated steering wheel Climate controls are very easy to use. There's an automatic function. And uh, this SUV has a uh, tri climate control. Uh, here is uh, the uh, fan speed. You could control the rear from here. As I told you guys, when you click this button, it will uh, open the uh, menu. But I really wish that uh, there was another button to turn on the rear climate uh, just by clicking uh, that one button. It will be a little bit more convenient, but that's me just um, nitpicking. Uh, fa the fan speed, front, off, AC, modes, uh, rare, uh, there is cold and heated seats, three stages each, here is the driver, and right here this is nice and soft, um, this right here is plastic, but it does actually look soft, so um, definitely a nice design, I love the double stitching, and down here there is uh, one USB, one USB Type-C, wireless phone charger and a 12 volt you could actually close this cover it does still have the plastic on it and here is the shifter and it does have plus and minus so you could change your gears but there is no paddle shifters 
definitely nice to have if you're towing something so you could basically change your gears yourself nice storage place nice and deep i love the gloss black with the brushed aluminum two cup holders nice and big i love those handles right here on the side of the middle console right here there is good amount of buttons uh, there is the parking sensor e-brake brake hold engine shut off so when you come to a complete stop the engine will turn off right here there is uh, the drive mode so there's eco snow smart sport and comfort and this button right here is to lock all the wheels so when you're stuck in snow or mud all the wheels will spin at the same time to get you unstuck for the armrest it is nice and soft nice and smooth inside there is a very good amount of space there is this tray it is very deep and inside good amount of space with one usb type c and yeah overall interior looks good i think kia did a great job with the interior and exterior of this uh, palisade mirror is not frameless i really wish it was frameless for the price point uh, there is a button to um, turn on and turn off the auto dimming uh, function glasses holder feels nice and premium uh, there is led lights this button right here will turn on all the lights in this suv this button right here will uh, keep the lights off when the doors are open kia connect sos and um, i really like the microphones they have a really nice design to them there is a standard size sunroof manual shade Let's see if the sunroof opens more. So this is the max it opens. I really wish it opened a little bit more. And the headliner is finished in black. This is nice, smooth cloth. Um, it is actually soft. Uh, there is a good size mirror. It's actually a really big size mirror. And there is an LED light. But yeah, overall, truly impressed with this Telluride. Here is the backdoor panel. The backdoor panel has the same design as the front. So this top portion is nice and soft there is a privacy screen on this exx line door handle feels nice and light more of that wood i love this brush aluminum armrest is nice and soft speaker has the same design as the front all windows are automatic up and down the front two windows are acoustic uh, the back ones are not acoustic so they're not double pane glass this is plastic which is completely fine a little bit of storage place in the bottom of this door for a three row suv i really wish that there was a little bit more storage for the kits that will sit back here and seats are very comfortable good amount of leg room and head room uh, there is a handle right here to adjust the recline this will do the same exact as what the picture is showing so basically we'll move the seat to the front it will um, basically uh, the back portion of the seat will basically go uh, to the front a little bit to be able to access the third row this will do the same exact thing uh, but basically it's used for the people uh, in the back beautiful seats beautiful leather i love the design i think kia did a great job this feels very expensive very premium and uh, there is armrests for uh, the second row which is nice adjustable armrests and the passenger and driver seats will have those pockets and the hook usb type c's on the passenger and driver back here there's two cup holders nice and big i love the gloss black with the brushed aluminum in the bottom there is a 12 volt and uh, there is a pass through in the middle uh, i think you could get the uh, telluride um, with a full uh, second row full seat second row if i'm not mistaken up here, uh, there's the climate controls. So definitely something different than other SUVs. Uh, automatic function, temperature, here is the fan, modes, off, auto, and uh, here is the light, or the lights. Uh, the lights are very big. I really think that Kia could have made them a little bit better looking, I think. So not a big fan of uh, the design. They are nice and bright. Um, here are the vents. You could rotate them and you could adjust them. But yeah, again, I'm not a big fan of the way how the lights look like. Uh, there's some lights in the back. Um, there is air vents in the back, which is nice. And uh, the handle with the hook. 
and uh, there's actually handles right here so that's very good there's two of these and let me go ahead and actually bring the third row up and sit back there and show you the amount of space in the back of this tally ride all right guys so let's hop in the third row as i told you guys you could click this button right here or you could click this button right here let's see we'll do this uh we'll be in this position for you to be able to access the third row getting in is actually easy this step is nice and wide and let's go ahead and hop inside the person that is going to be sitting in the second row is going to be comfortable the person that is sitting in the front is going to be comfortable and me sitting back here i am actually very very comfortable so definitely very good amount of uh, space i did review the mazda cx90 and um i was comfortable in the back in the third row of the mazda cx90 but I think in the Telluride, it's much better. My knees are not that high and um, headroom is good. The seats are more comfortable than the Mazda for sure. And um, yeah, overall, I think um, such a beautiful SUV. Uh, the windows are nice and big. The Mazda, I believe, had a little bit more trunk space with the third row up, but definitely sitting in the third row of this um, Telluride uh, is is much comfortable than the CX-90. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2023 Kia Telluride EX X-Line. Before I end this video, I would like to let you guys know that I came out with my own car detailing products. So if you guys are interested in any detailing products, make sure to check out the link in the bottom of this video for my website. Anyways, guys, I would like to thank Curtis and Napoli Kia here in Milford, Connecticut for providing me this beautiful Telluride. If you guys are around, make sure to come and check them out. I'm going to go ahead and put their information and link in the bottom of this video. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe because it does help a lot. And as always, I'll see you next time.